Okay, today what we're going to be doing is we're going <clears> to <throat> mount these posters onto foam core and then we'll go ahead and, and crop them up and uh, get them out to our client. Let's get started. All right, so what we did is we, we didn't need the full 96 inches that the sheet is. So we cut off two 16 inch pieces. We'll use these for a future project. Then we cut the remaining sheet in half at 24 inches. This will give us the two pieces to mount our poster boards on. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get out our roll laminator. Just like we use all the time when we're doing this stuff. Um, so we've got our two rollers. I believe these are going to be adjusted already. Let's take a look. So I just used this for some foam core. There we go, they're adjusted. Now just to go over the adjustment process real quick, what we're gonna do is go down evenly with each one of these, these knobs. Once we get them down to where they stop turning, we just go ahead and turn them both the same, give them maybe a eighth to a quarter of a turn. Okay, next we need our foam core and our posters. Okay, we have our foam core, we have our poster. Now the foam core is cut uh, quite a bit larger than the poster. Uh, what we actually ended up doing with this is because the, the poster is only 20 inches, um, plus our bleeds, we get up to about 20, 21 and a half inches. Um, but when we cut our foam core, we get our foam core in four by eight sheets. So we just cut that in half at 24 inches. So you can kind of see here that we're, we got plenty of room all the way around. Uh, it does make it a little bit easier because we don't have to worry about lining it up as critically. If you cut your foam core closer to the actual size of the print that you're mounting to it, you're gonna, it's gonna become very critical as to how you get the, the print lined up on it. If you happen to be a little bit off, you could actually take that print right off the foam core. Um, we won't have to worry about that, we have plenty of room. So the first thing we wanna do, make sure we have everything clean. And then we will peel back part of this top edge to go ahead and um, position this in the correct position and we'll run it through. Now the nice thing about right now is because we do have that room for the bleeds, we do have a little more room to be able to grab into the corner because sometimes it can be a little difficult to grab this backing. And if you're cut right to the edge of the picture you're trying to put on, you take a chance of actually doing a little damage to that, that corner of the picture. So the bleed is nice to have. Okay, now we'll go ahead and set this up here toward the top. Make sure we're about in the middle, and we are. When I set this down, I always like to to push from the middle. I'll push it down right here and push it across and push it across. I don't want to get any bubbles in the, or folds into the middle. Now we simply fold this back and we can start peeling off our backing and just rotating this through. We want to keep an eye out in case we get any dust and I can see a few pieces of dust that have settled on here. Any piece of dust is going to come out as a, um, what's going to look like a bubble. The difference with, between a bubble and a piece of dust is a bubble may eventually go away. Um, a piece of dust will never go away. Once it's trapped, it's trapped forever. Piece of dust. Okay. 
Okay. There we have it. So that is the first one. Now we got five more to do, and then we'll go ahead and we'll be able to cut our, our bleeds by using the crop marks. Looking at your foam core, you want to make sure that there's no dents in it. Um, any kind of imperfections will come through the print. Uh, it just, you know, it happens with, with shipping and moving these things around. Sometimes you'll get a little dent in it. So if you, if you have a dent on one side, a lot of times you won't have that dent on both sides. So you can simply then flip it over. I'll tell you, this is one of the things that that scares people the most with printing is is actually doing the mounting. Um, you can ruin a print very easily, and you're not only going to ruin the print, then you're going to ruin the foam core as well. It happens. The more you do it, the better you feel about doing it. Hopefully it doesn't happen today. Now I'm only holding enough tension for this to just peel off as I turn. And you want to make sure you're holding an even tension because some things you may print on, um, especially a vinyl, a vinyl has a little more stretch to it. And if you're not doing it evenly, there's two, you can actually, um, pull one side or the other side and when that happens the next thing is a wrinkle now what I'm using here to wipe this down okay I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not but there's a, a dent that almost looks like it's a dent from manufacturing so let's flip this over and this side looks clean uh, what this is, is this is just a 3 8 paint roller, um, like you would paint your house with, and it uh, works real well for this. Yeah, the nice thing is you don't have to worry about buying an expensive one, <clears throat> but if, when you do get a new one, a lot of times they will have lint attached to them. Uh, so what we do is we, we take some tape and we'll wrap this in tape and we'll pull it off, do that a couple times. That'll get all the lint off it. And once it's lint free, you're good to go. Now in our printing process with these, they're actually clear coated. So we don't have to worry about any kind of coating, additional coating on top of that on these to, to get them to last. Of course, if these were going outside, it would be a whole different process. We wouldn't be using foam core for one thing. Uh, we'd have to use a plastic laminate, but these are clear coated, so they, they will hold up pretty well.
We got a little tear out of the release paper. So you want to make sure you get anything like that off. I can't say that I've ever had that happen before. But again, anything that you get in between the foam core and the print is going to come right through that print. You're going to see it. No better way to ruin a print. Okay, there's three. Okay, you can see right here, this is our crop mark. So this is to cut this piece off, and this is to cut that piece off. Now, if I cut across here, okay, and I cut all the way across, I'm gonna cut this mark off. Same if I cut here, I'm going to cut this mark off. So what we have to do is we're going to cut across here, but we're, we're not going to cut this part off. Okay. We'll do that on both sides. So over here, we have our crop mark. We'll cut starting about here, cut across. This way, when we cut here, this will, this piece will still be attached. And we'll do that all the way around on all the corners. So when we're done, this is almost going to be like a frame. That's how you keep your crop marks intact until you're done. So in order to get these cuts going, we're going to have to break out the big cutter once again. slide this over to where we can reach it and we will line up our crop marks and again we're not going to cut all the way to the end so we're not going to cut that little piece off that little piece is going to stay attached so we'll start uh, right about there And then we will move this over. Again, we're lining up with our crop marks. The edge of this can go right to the line because this cuts right on the edge. We're not going to go to the end. We're going to stay short of the end. And having the extra foam core does make this a lot easier. Okay, that's that one. Now we're going to make our cuts this way. So it's, it's not as important that we don't cut all the way. We can actually cut all the way if we wanted to. So we're going to line this up. And now we will line this one up. And there we have it. So this is our sign complete. All the bleeds are cut. And this is what's left over. So like I was saying, it's gonna come out to be like a frame. Uh, let's see if we can focus in on this. And you can see what I did is I, I made my cuts, not all the way through though. 
and that's it. So we gotta do this four more times, and we are done. I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up here a little bit. Uh, we're just doing the same thing over and over again. Uh, sorry about the mic that keeps dropping out. I'm trying a new mic, and uh, it's not working out for me too well today. I'll have to figure that one out, but back to the video. There you have it, number five. So if you found this video uh, useful at all, uh, please hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe and the bell, so you'll get notification of our next video. Um, this is the kind of stuff that we do all the time here. So uh, if we can teach you something, we're more than happy to do that. If you have a comment uh, or maybe another way that we can do things better, let us know in the comment section below. Okay, thanks. See you next time.